Police are closely watching weather conditions tonight. First responders in Seward are alerting the community of flood possibilities in town. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto is in Seward talking to neighbors and law enforcement. What are they saying tonight, Veronica? That's right, Arada. This bridge here going to Centennial Park in Seward is closed. Officials will tell me they do this to keep people safe and say they are paying attention to any potential threat. Just observing. I know we've got some more uh, weather on the way. So just again, watching uh, uh, the forecast. The city of Seward monitoring three different areas tonight. Here you can see a map the city is sharing. Captain Peters say they're ready to answer the call if things get out of control. And if we get an area, an area where it looks like the water is going to um, go over the banks, uh, we'll take measures to uh, block those streets off uh, to prevent cars from, from going through there. You can see here the water is about to spill over onto the creek bank near Columbia Road. The Plum Creek east of town is also quickly rising. The water is higher than normal. One neighbor who lives next to the creek says she's not worried and says she's used to flooding in the area. We have been here for 30 years now in this house and we've seen some pretty big flooding. It comes up quick, it goes down quick. Um, anytime we get a heavy rain up north, um, it comes down this way, not, so it's not necessarily rain here in Seward. And the, the officials will tell me they're closely monitoring the situation and will close roads or post detours as necessary. It is important, to, it is important they say, to follow their guidelines for your safety. Reporting live in Seward, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.